Hey guys, welcome again to Reviews in a Flash. My name is Maddie. Today we will be reading A Walk Through Hell by Garth Ennis, as published by Aftershock Comics. Thanks again to Darkstar916 for sponsoring this book today. So, um, for those who are interested in reading this, my recommendation for soundtrack for this would be the X-Files soundtrack or Twin Peaks. It feels very similar to that sort of style. So, A Walk Through Hell focuses on special agents Shaw and McGregor. This is a woman and a man. Um, it's very... Uh, it, you can't help but when you start a story like this, immediately get sort of X-Files <laughs> feelings. So the story jumps between the past and the present. Now, the past of Shaw and McGregor is them dealing with looking for this serial killer or serial kidnapper situation. Um, someone has been kidnapping kids all through the L.A area around in states around LA uh, with different partners um, who tend to die or kill themselves um, and they're trying to figure out what's going on there and somehow that case is somehow related to the present. Now in the present we see Shaw McGregor investigating a warehouse looking for two other operatives who have been lost in that warehouse for over eight hours and it's a very strange situation because immediately when they go in, some weird stuff happens, and at every sort of twist and turn while they're trying to make them their way through this warehouse, it's like a maze. At every corner there's something horrific or just unexplainable, very supernatural. And Ennis doesn't really let you peek behind the curtain on this one. You don't really know where it's going. I... It's very, it's very interesting. I mean, the art's really interesting. It's, it's very easy to get into this story. There's a lot going on. However, it's really hard for me to rate a book like this because it's, it's the first volume. And stories like this are absolutely dependent on the ending for me. Uh, your different horror anthologies or psychological thrillers. For me, it's like watching the first 15 minutes of one of those movies knowing that there's going to be a twist at the end that I'm not at yet. Right? Because not all the pieces are put together. So, I definitely recommend this. Uh, I, I do want to read more. At this point, I can't tell you whether I like it or not. <laughs> um, all I can explain is just that I, Ennis has gotten me enough that I'm interested. Now, from what I know about Ennis, a lot of his books can be a little confusing. <laughs> a lot of people feel a little lost in his books, not in a, necessarily a bad way, just he's, it seems from what I've heard, he's a bigger picture type of guy. And that's what I feel like is going on here. I recommend this so far for anyone who likes those mysteries, those thrillers, X-Files, Twin Peaks, um, a bit of like fringe. Um, yeah, any sort of like FBI <laughs> um, shows or like NCIS even, but um, a little more supernatural. I, if you like that kind of stuff, I absolutely recommend it. Um, so, if you like this video, <laughs> um, please Comment below, like, subscribe. Um, if you've read this, let me know how you like it. Uh, also, we have a Patreon, so if you're interested in supporting us in any way, uh, please let us know. We show like, a few little behind-the-scenes videos and, and, and other things in there as well. We have polls for future videos, so just check those out in the bio below. Thanks so much.